What's up guys? Today I'm going to be unboxing a Champion Generator. It's a 3400 watt and I don't know if you saw my other video or not. I had gotten a Ryobi 5500 watt generator. It was just way too big for me to be picking up and putting in the trailer or should I say in the truck by myself. So I went ahead and got rid of it and got this one. And let me show you here. It is a champion generator from, I guess it's Global Power Equipment. Uh, 3400 running watts, 4000 running watts, or starting watts, should I say. One thing about this one is it's RV ready. In other words, it has a built in RV plug. So, let's hop to it. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get the straps off of it. Now, as before, as before, we've uh, got cardboard, of course, on the top, and then there it is. Of course, the uh, box with the accessories. Uh, this one says it comes with a wheel kit, and what else was it? Let me see. It is the generator, wheel kit, accessory kit, and oil. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get her out. Now, we'll go ahead and open up the kit box just to take a look. Everything in there. We got the wheels, we have the feet, and this one comes with a funnel. And then inside of here is our oil. And this one has a funky little handle that goes on the front of it. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to put that box away for now, and then I'll work on getting the uh, generator out. Now, let me see if I can pull it out of the box by myself without ripping the box. I mean, it is it is 112 pounds, so it's not super light, but it's not super heavy. And there we go. Too outrageously big. And here we go. Show you the front here. It has the circuit breakers for the 20 amp circuits. It has the RV plug. Also has the twist plug. So now let me get some of these, uh, all the wrapper and styrofoam off of it. Now, like before, I'll start by putting the wheels on, and they go right there. So now we'll start with the wheels. I don't know if you can see that here. And this is the axle, and the way it goes, it goes washer to the outside, bushing, and that goes through the outside of the tire and then we'll put it inside of here I'm going to go ahead and put the other side the same just so that way it can hold it for me while I'm tightening up this side this on there, same way. There we go. 
Now. Let's get the bushing on there so you don't have to worry about going too tight. I mean, you don't want to grill it. Or grill up it. You want to cut, of course. This socket wrench is not doing me very well. Do the other side. take these nuts and bolts and the feet right here right here and they'll sit on the front of it now I don't know how well it's gonna work but with the way these feet are made I think I can set them underneath there and then put the, the bolts underneath there and then, uh, then I'll probably prop it up at something right in the middle of here. So, let's see if I can get it under there. There we go. A little tighter because it's right underneath the actual generator itself. This part. All right. Now they decided to make this one a uh, 12 millimeter. So. Let's go ahead and tighten these up. on there. Alright now these are the same bolt size and uh, we got the handle here. It kind of sits like that. You pull it up when you want to pull it around. So let's go ahead and put these on there.
And then there's that one. As you can see, handle folds up. Pick it up. Handle folds back down. Okay, now we'll be adding the oil. Go ahead and take the cap off. As I said before, make sure you put the cap somewhere where it won't get dirty. And go ahead and see here's the oil it came with. It says add up to 0.6 liters. Now let's go ahead and try not to spill it. Alright, well, it ended up being a little bit more than 0.6 liters in that container, but uh, took care of it. And now I'm about to put some gas in it and uh, run it and test it out. Now, turn that on. Now, over on the side here, they do have a choke. You see, choke or run. You know, see there's a fuel shut off right there. I think it even has a reserve. So, go ahead and fire this thing up. Of course, camera cut off and I did run it, so it should fire right up without the choke. Or not. I've just plugged in my trailer to the RV plug. So, go ahead and uh, give it a try. See how she does running the trailer. It has been running, so it might be a little difficult starting. Conditioner's on. Stereo is on. Fan is on. Fridge is on. And now the TV is on. Yeah, it's doing just fine. Not too bad, not too bad. Still a little loud, but it's a hell of a lot lighter. Well guys, that'll just about do it. Seems to work just fine for the trailer. It's still a little loud, not too bad, but uh, yeah, you know. So, uh, that'll just about do it for now. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment if you feel like it. Till next time, thanks for watching.